Hey everyone, I am Apostle Michelle Peterson and so today I am going to talk about something really cool, uh, an encounter I had with the Holy Spirit and so today I'm doing a few little short videos about different encounters and different things I've had with the Lord. Um, and so today I want to share with you a beautiful like encounter that I had with the Holy Spirit. I saw the Holy Spirit and um, it was actually an encounter. The Lord told me, I asked him if it was a vision, what it was, but he said it was an encounter. So I saw the Holy Spirit in my bedroom um, on the top part of the, the you know bed, but on the bed I saw like all of this mold and fungus type of stuff growing. And it was in the spiritual realm. And so it was like mold and fungus and everything growing. And I saw this uh, dove. It was like a bird. Um, beautiful. It was the Holy Spirit. And I saw him walking around in all of this fungus and mold and, and, and just filth up there, you know, at the top part of my bed. It was actually in the spirit room. I didn't have a top part of my bed in the natural room, but in the spirit room, it was like a top part of my bed. And so he was walking around up there and he was walking towards me. And so I used to have a parrot and a sun conure. And so I would stick my finger out and he would step on my finger. And so when I saw the Holy Spirit walking up there and all of that, you know, uh, filth, I stuck my finger up there for him to step on my finger. And he stepped on my finger and so I brought him down like to my face and I was like looking at him like, I was like, wow, he is beautiful. And he was like this beautiful purplish color. I mean, it's, it's a color I've never seen in my whole life. It was just the most prettiest color there was. And so also on his wings, like I saw his wings, on his wings, he had another set of wings on each wing like he had four wings basically it was a wing here and a wing uh connected kind of coming out of that wing and going over but the wings the second pair of wings that was on the top of his wings they were silver they were like silver uh i mean like like a silver like the um silver like this <laughs> on but like a beautiful silver those wings on the top were silver so i was just turning him around like look at him like whoa you are so pretty and so what when i when i had him on my finger i'll tell you what his presence was like his presence was like innocent and like he was blameless and harmless he didn't have no fear. He was not afraid of me at all. It was like he was totally at peace and trusted me. And he was so pure and innocent. Like the most innocent um, you can think of. More innocent than a newborn baby. More innocent than my grandkids. He was so innocent and blameless and harmless. And when I was just looking at him, you know... He jumped off my finger and he jumped into this microphone and he was at the bottom. I could feel him down there moving around and I just started singing to him. <laughs> but what I wanted to say is that that encounter helped me understand how um, uh, innocent and blameless and pure and, and holy um, the Holy Spirit is. And when the Bible talks about that, you can blaspheme, you can you can talk against the Lord Jesus, you can talk you can talk against everyone, but the one that you cannot talk against, you won't be forgiven, is the Holy Spirit. And I'll tell you when I actually experienced His presence, um, you know, uh, His His His, you know, like His character. It was so, you know, blameless and harmless. Like he would never hurt anyone ever. Like the most purest. And for someone to hurt him or speak against him, I can see how it could be not forgiven. Nobody can be forgiven for that because of the, the, the innocence of him. And you know, the thing that um, I would like to pray um, is 
that God will restore your innocence because one of the things that um, the Lord has imparted in me a few times was innocence. Uh, my past life, I used to do a lot of sexual sins, uh, a lot of, you know, defilement, you know, just hardcore sins against God. And, um, and my innocence, everything was taken away from me at, at a very young age, you know. Um, and, but the innocence, that's who God is. That's who the Holy Spirit is. And the enemy comes and he'll try to steal our innocence at a very young child. And, and, but that's something, that's where, the, that's where the power is. The power is in the innocence and the purity and the love. And all of those things that the world may tell us that, you know, it's not, it, you know, it's, it's not all of that to have. The innocence is power. And so the Lord would do impartations of innocence um, back into me, basically. And so, uh, because that's who the Holy Spirit is. He is innocent. He is blameless. And the Bible does talk about that, you know, that I think it was Paul that was praying that, you know, that our soul and our our spirit man and um, you know and that we will be blameless all of those areas will be blameless when the coming of Jesus is you know when the Lord comes for us that all of those areas will be blameless by then you know so I would like to pray that the Lord will impart innocence into you innocence into you okay so if you would like to receive it just relax, focus on the Lord. Just get really, really relaxed. Anytime you're receiving things from the Lord, um, you have to relax. The Lord is all, always teaches me these type of things. Just relax. Whenever you're receiving things from Him, you have to relax. You can't be doing all of this stuff, thinking about all of these things. You have to relax. So just get relaxed so you can receive this impartation of innocence. My hands are already getting hot. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, I ask that you impart innocence into your people, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, Lord, I ask that you impart innocence. And then, Father, I ask that you impart innocence, Heavenly Father. I ask that you impart innocence into them, Heavenly Father. I ask that innocence flows completely through them, Heavenly Father. I ask that you impart innocence and more innocence. In Jesus' name, Lord, I ask that you impart innocence into your people, Heavenly Father. I ask that you impart innocence, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask that you and Father, I ask that you impart innocence, Heavenly Father. Father, I ask that you impart innocence, Father. I ask that you totally consume your people with innocence. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Heavenly Father, I ask that you impart love, Father. I ask that you impart love, Father. I ask that you impart love. Heavenly Father, I ask that you impart love. Father, I ask that you impart love. Father, I ask that you impart love. If your hands, if you're able to put your hands on the camera, put your hands on the camera. Heavenly Father, I, I ask that you impart love, Heavenly Father, through the camera, Father, through the camera, through the internet, and to their homes, Heavenly Father, and to their jobs, wherever they are, on their cell phones, computers. Father, I ask that you impart love, Heavenly Father, I ask that you impart love, Heavenly Father, I ask that you impart love. Father, I ask that you release your healing, Father, I ask that you release your healing, Father, I ask that you release your healing. Father, I ask that you release your joy, Heavenly Father, I ask that you release your joy, the joy of the Lord, Father, I ask that you release your peace, Father. Hallelujah, Lord, I ask that you release your peace. Father, I ask that you release your resurrection power, Heavenly Father. I ask that you release your resurrection power. In Jesus' name, Father, I ask that you release your resurrection power. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I ask that you restore the people's innocence, Father. I ask that you restore their innocence. The ones who have had their innocence taken away, Father, I ask that you restore it. I ask that you restore their innocence, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I'm still feeling fire coming from my hands, so I'm going to leave my hands up there. Thank you, Father. Restore. So I hope you guys receive it. My battery is going dead, so uh, even though this fire is coming through my hands, I will go ahead and close it out. So bless you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. I hope you guys are feeling that. It's feeling really good. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank 
God bless.